Shoo! What's going on, folks? Well, we got uh, some lawnscaping to get taken care of. We are at my haunted house at the new property where I'm building the new house. This is it. If you guys are a fan or viewer of the uh, original channel, you've seen some videos about this guy. Super haunted, super sketchy, and the county wants us to move it. They say you can't have two livable dwellings, even though I own 60 acres out here. I don't know. Ask them. But I, so since I'm like, well, I'm moving it. I don't live here. I don't really care. So I hadn't been taking care of the lawn. This place is also like two hours from my house right now. So I'm like, for me to drive up here and take care of it, you know, once a week, that's kind of a lot. So I just, you know, I just, I'll be honest. I, I was a bad homeowner. I just didn't care. I was like, I'm not mowing. I'm not going to pay anybody to mow it, whatever. And then, then I got a call from the neighbor. He was, hey, you got anybody that's mowing out there? Your, your yard looks like shit. And I'm just like, well, I mean, I don't live there. It's basically abandoned. You know, I bought the house because it came with the land, but I didn't really want the house. I just wanted the land. That's where I'm building my new house. My new house is getting built down yonder. I don't know why this is here either, but it is. So uh, I kind of felt bad. I was like, all right, all right. And I think one of my neighbors had mowed this place once this year. I think it was the people that kept the horses here. If you guys are like, if you're a viewer of the main channel, we had some Clydesdale type Shire horses out here. I think they mowed it once. So like the main yard isn't awful. I mean, it looks I mean, it looks awful, but it's not, it's not like super grown up like this. They mowed it one time. It was like a month and a half ago. And I think it was them. They didn't ask me. They didn't tell me. and I didn't ask them. Uh, so I kind of felt bad. I was like, well, geez, guys, if it's that bad, like, I'll, you know, I'll, I didn't think anybody would care. We live in the country. I didn't, you know, I'm like, I don't, why, why does it matter if it, there's some tall grass. So anyways, neighbors are complaining. And I said, listen, we got all the equipment. Quit being lazy. Get in the car and drive your ass up there and take care of your own damn lawn. All right, I'm trying to take some responsibility. I'm trying to do some adult things. So today's adventure is cleaning up this yard. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. The front yard uh, on that side actually doesn't look that bad, but I'll show you back here. I mean, even all this, like there's trash under here. None of it's mine previous owner i didn't put nothing out here i literally have bought this place and i just went to go building a new house i haven't touched the existing dwellings or the yard or nothing so any of the junk that's around here is not my doing but i mean mowing some of this would be nice all this stuff needs to be you know all around this building we're talking about trying to save this building and maybe potentially moving it down to uh the new pond but i mean like there's there's full-blown crundy all right growing here which I don't know if it's, I didn't grow it, it was nature. But it, you know, that should probably get taken out. I mean, all this stuff, all this overgrown trees. And then back here, this is where, this is where the neighbors did not voluntarily mow. This is tall, this is nipple high, more higher than my nipple, look at this stuff. This stuff is, that's six foot right here. I mean, I am standing in very tall grass and weeds and bushes and whatever. So we gotta take care of it. It's, it's been neglected long enough. I've been too lazy. It's like, listen, we got beefcake construction. We got beefcake lawnscape. We got two zero turns. All this. We actually brought one zero turn. So I didn't think there'd be a ton of zero turning to do. Um, mostly a lot of the work is going to be trimming and taking hedge trimmers. And we brought chainsaws and like I said, trying to rip out as much of this as we can, at least just today, at least what faces the road. So the road is up. You can't even see it from the road, but the neighbor complained. So, okay, I don't want any city violations, okay? So, we are gonna come out and take care of this yard, even though, like I said, no one lives here. Take care of this yard and get her all cleaned up so that way the neighbors are happy. And I don't want the neighbors hating me once I actually do live here. So I feel like I need to take a little responsibility and uh, and get her all cleaned up. So I know you guys enjoy the mowing videos. I was like, all right, let's 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 load her up. So we got the brand new zero turn on there. We got the weed whacker, head trimmer, blowers, all that stuff. And the road, like I said, the road's kind of in front of where the truck is. We need to try to get the front of this all cleaned up. Like we'll probably knock that bush out. There's are some flowers in there from the previous landscaping, but I think buzz all this down. The front of this house should look perfectly clean and then the yard should look, you know, fairly manicured by the time we're done. I mean, there's some weed whacking to do kind of around these trees and you've got, see how it's all grown up here. So I think like this stuff, I don't think is that bad. I mean, like it's not great, but there's some nice flowers. I think everything that's sticking up though, all them trees need out at the very least today, got to buzz them down. Got to buzz those guys down. So that way the front of this house is looking decent. So. That's the plan, mowing my abandoned house, my haunted house, because my neighbors are pissed. Stay tuned.
we got a lot of that done. Hey, all you freaking haters. Flair don't know how to mow his grass right. Well, uh, I tried going straight lines for you. Just for you. Because you guys be moping and groping and whatever. So, I mean, that looks pretty darn good. The grass needed it. I mean, it was long. I was getting covered in freaking shavings or whatever as uh, the wind's been blowing up here. But, I mean, the yard itself, I feel like I did a decent job. It's not like I striped it on like a stripe kit on the back of this thing. I could. I could always build, you can make DIY ones. Actually pretty darn easy. If you guys want to see us try to build it, we could. But overall, that yard's done. And this, I tried mowing that ditch. It's, it's pretty, I know camera's deceiving, but it's it's giving her, I mean, that's probably about 45. So that was the first time I've really given her a lean with that zero turn. But that's also why we got that zero turn. It's heavy enough to be able to, you know, mow those areas that are a little bit steeper. So anyways, I don't think the neighbors can complain about the yard now. The yard's looking good. We still have, obviously, this all this stuff to take care of we'll get to after i want to get all the zero turn stuff done first jake you saw he was weed whacking he was trimming around all the trees in the post and he's just making it easy for me to buzz around that's you know mowing with two guys he goes really really fast we could add two zero turns here i didn't think there was really a need for two of them you've got one guy that's kind of edging and stuff like that making sure that the zero turn can access everything um so that went pretty quick that wasn't that was too long i think well, probably about 30 minutes or so is that, you, is that what you think it is yeah probably about th about 30 minutes maybe 25 yeah, not too bad so i'm gonna try back jump back up on the zero turn buzzing around here i'll be 100 percent honest with you guys i have no idea whose kiddie pool this is why it's filled with water or rocks and why they're running the host of the house that i own i i no idea i mean if you guys look at that and you're like oh well, that's that's for this you let me know i i don't know what what, what would you need that for I get, no one asked me, no one's like, hey, can I use your hose, your water, or can I put a, store a kiddie pool in your yard? I, so I'm not gonna take you know as much time as far as striping and making perfect lines on this one. I mean, there's a, this, I mean, the, the, the neighbors should be complaining about this, not not my grass, I, you know what I mean? So this one, I'm just gonna haul and buzz. There are some places that I want Jake to kind of explore as far as why there's grass growing up here. Oh, this one's an easy one, there's a horse tank. But, you know, he could kind of, edge and stuff around here just a little bit just knock down all the stuff kind of up against the building here i'll take the zero turn i'm gonna fly through this buzz it down and then we'll get to the real tall stuff the real tall stuff is behind this garage here that's that six foot tall freaking nipple high stuff and that's that'll really put this zero turn to the test plus it's not even grass there's like brush and stuff which I, i'm sure it's not great for like a brand new mower but hey i got her to get the work done so today we're getting the work done stay tuned three minute mo job boys well just getting her all whacked up real nice like this thing flies i don't know if you can tell on camera how fast this thing is but it mows super that was three minutes three 
Oh God, yeah, that was a good deal. All right. Well, this is looking. I mean, well, this we we figured it, it'll look better actually with the grass than uh, this little metal building or metal t tin can, whatever this is. So leave it up as it is. Ain't ain't really that big of a deal. Again, my neighbors. You know, that's the road. Okay, you guys complaining down here. I'll just tell you. But since again the zero turns here, although I don't think the neighbors really care too much about the grass that's behind this building because I don't think they can literally see. There's a cornfield right there. Uh, the zero turns here. We do at some point want to try to do something with this metal building, whether it's renovate it or tear it apart and put it up somewhere else. I still think that's worth something, just like this. This building is worth something. This actually looks like a decent condition. So we might try to move it. It just, it all depends on where my driveway goes. I'm still trying to buy my neighbor's land over there. If I can buy that, then I'll make my driveway shoot like this and we can keep all these buildings, including this house, if it goes that way. I, I highly doubt that's gonna work. But this is next. This is the jungle. This is where things get Western. Stay tuned.
looking good. Man, that was that, that actually very quickly, seven minutes, we were able to transform it into a jungle into this. It's not, you know, some pristine, you know, golf course looking deal, but it cleaned it up nice. I'm pretty impressed with the mower. You know, most of the time I'd bring a skid loader and a bush hog and doing that, but the zero turn is a do it all. You can do the front yard and you can do the backyard that looks like this. So this is what we were after again. I don't think the neighbors complained about this, but um, eventually I think our plan with this property is to build kind of like a parking lot storage area on that next hill there. We're not sure yet. So I wanted to make sure we could access it. If possible, we may have to go mow that. I'll probably bring the scale loader for that because I think there's a lot more brush. But I was like, well, we already, we already hauled the mower all the way up here. We might as well use it. So anyways, we got that looking good. Jake was on whack duty and we got some of this. I think we'll still lop this guy down. I think from what I kind of gathered, the neighbors just made it seem like they just didn't want the place to look abandoned, which it, it mean, in my defense, it was abandoned. No one's living here. Uh, but as the owner, I mean, I'm responsible for taking care of it. So. I think anything that is kind of growing up, up the house and doesn't look all that great. Like I said, we, we didn't really, I didn't really realize how bad it was. I'll be honest. I didn't really pay much attention. I knew the yard was long, but I didn't realize this was bad. I should have brought like the mini excavator because we could have ripped out all of these bushes. If you guys want to see that, we'll go back and uh, we'll grab the mini. That'll make it easy. You can go in there, literally dig up all the stumps. So, but I mean, like they have these annual flower deals. I don't know what these are, but then there's grass growing up in the mix of it. So it's like, do we just whack them all down and get rid of the flowers? I mean, this doesn't look nice, does it? I mean, I feel like it doesn't, like that bush is straight up dead right there. So I don't, we can't really remove any of the stumps, but as far as like this goes, this could all be whacked. I mean, this is the front porch. This can all be whacked. We can weed whack, or I can, for that matter, I mean, I could always run the zero turn up here, but we can run the weed whacker and just whack all this grass down. Whatever's kind of growing up in front of the house. Like I said, that's the road. So that's what the neighbors be, be complaining about. Now this... I'm not sure if, do you leave this big bush thing? You take her out or you, I mean, we may, maybe we'll trim it. Uh, I, maybe we could trim it. So I think this grass, like there's, see there's flowers here. So I feel, I feel bad yanking out the flowers, but it just, and then you got thistles that are growing in, which that ain't good for nobody. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like, again, th those like sprouty guys, maybe we just, just lop everything. So it's, just straight across the board, the same height as these flowers. It's not gonna look amazing, but you know, from the roadside, it'll at least clean it up some. I mean, I think the only way you fix this, you gotta rip it out. Now, unless I buy my neighbor's land, I can keep this house. There's a chance of that slim. More than likely, we're gonna move the house. So some of you guys might be thinking, well, Flair, why don't you just redo the landscaping? Well, that would be literally lighting money on fire. No one lives here, no one cares. We just gotta make it not look like a, a bag of wieners. So- If we keep it right here, we will. Yeah, 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 if we keep it, then we can redo it all. But I, it's like 50-50 right now. My neighbor, he actually called me this morning saying, hey, I think we'll be able to sell you the land. And yeah, 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 I heard that all before. So I think let's take the whacker, buzz it. Okay, are you voting knock the flowers? Because the flowers are honestly one of the tallest things. Yeah, let's whack them, they'll shoot back. So just, yeah, but you're saying just buzz it. Buzz, 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 it buzz, her, buzz her down, real short like. So we're gonna get to buzzing, stay tuned.
two and a half hours later, folks. That is what she looks like now. I mean, talk about better than before. These neighbors. Hell, I look better than that neighbor. I'm going to go yell at you back. Hey, what are you yelling at me for? My house looks better than you now, Rick. So we got, I mean, better as in not perfect. We discovered there is a sidewalk here. That's interesting. Um, didn't know that was here. So we ran out of stringer trimmer. I don't know if you guys saw us battling that, but like, I don't know if that stuff was just brittle, but it was like, uh, it just, we would run through, I don't know, four or five feet every four or five minutes. And uh, I didn't bring like an unlimited amount of stringer trimmer. So we ran out. So, I mean, we got as much done. We couldn't get as much done down there as we had hoped, but at least from the road, for my neighbor's sake, you're driving down this road. I mean, that don't look bad. It's clean. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's clean. So we ended up knocking out that entire bush. I thought it looks way better now, way better. There was a lot of flowers and whatever, and they may grow back, but if we're gonna end up keeping this house, which we should know that, actually, we have to know that in about the next six months. By like January, February is when we think we're moving to the new house. We cannot move into our new house until this house is gone, or I buy my neighbor's land and rezone the whole thing. So there is still time to figure out moving the house. I, I would prefer to keep it. I mean, I already bought it, and like, I mean, I could move it and then sell it. I don't really know how that works. Maybe that would be interesting for you guys to see. It'd be interesting for me to see. I never, I didn't know you could move houses, but they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. So, anyways, the yard. I mean, that obviously looks great. This kind of looks like a bomb went off, but it's better than it was before. I cleaned up around the front, like the entrance, even though we don't ever go in this house. I mean, like, for those of you guys don't know, this is a perfectly fine house. There's, like, there's really nothing wrong with it. I, it really just needs to be fixed up. The problem is I don't want to fix it up if I'm going to end up moving it because you're going to, you know, paint and hang drywall or whatever. More likely it's going to crack during the move. If I knew I was keeping it, I would be renovating it right now. If I knew I had to move it no matter what, I'd be moving it right now and then renovating it. Cause I, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's like a five bedroom house. It ain't bad, but cleaned up all this exposed. I didn't know that was there either. Exposed all that. Weed whacked as much of this blew it all over. I mean, it looks good from the front of the house to the road. I think we're in business. So you neighbor, if you're watching, just pipe down. I'm just kidding. I, I appreciate you telling us it was, it was good two two hours, two beefcakes. Yeah, that, that ain't nothing. No. I mean, we're flying. So uh, the next project here, probably going to be tackling. Like we left some of those bushes. I know along the garage said we weren't going to, but so I don't think it's, I, I sort of look at it, I'm like, man, this house is going to look so good. My neighbors ain't going to say nothing. It looks good enough. So the next project down here, besides potentially moving this house, maybe make, we got to make a parking lot back there. I kind of want to store my trailers and stuff like that. So it's away from my new house, but still close to this house and fairly close to my other house where they're out of sight, but you know, we'll have them all locked up and stuff like that. So we end up, may end up building a, a, a parking lot over there. We may end up moving that garage there. Again, it all depends if I can buy my neighbor's land. If I can buy my neighbor's land, I won't move anything. And this will just be the YouTube content where we're gonna turn that into a little man cave or a tackle room or something, we can. This this will wanna be like the trap house, it can be the trap house. So, but if we can't get the neighbor's land, then like, we have to move this, we have to move that, we have to move that. And so we thought, well, maybe that garage, we could take down to the pond and make like a little boat house shed on the water or something. So lots of opportunities, lots of possibilities that you'll see here on this channel and on the main. If you guys are here, you made it this far, I imagine you've been over to the main channel flare. If you haven't, it'll be linked down below. Um, but then before we go, remember the Beefcake merch is available. It is linked down in the description down below. Beefcake racing, Beefcake construction, Beefcake garage, all sorts of stuff Beefcake related. Link down in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's moment video. If you want to see more of it, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll catch you next time. And peace. Yeah.